Hola, beautiful badass actors. So I am back with Ask April. I have posted surveys in the group. And for those of you who are on my mailing list, if you're not, you should get on it. The dreamunlocked.com. I'm going to do a series of these free pop-up classes where I will answer questions directly that you have asked me. So basically, this is your chance for me to make you an instructional video for free. Aloha. So get to it. Fill out the survey. Sign up for the list at thedreamunlocked.com. All one word. Okay. So the first survey question that I got that was really amazing from Sharice Booth that I'm going to answer. She's one of my brilliant clients and she is a fabulous actress, um, a femme fatale. And uh, her first question is, how imperative is it to engage in social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, to advance your TV and film career? Okay, this is a really good question. So I would say the major reason to have a huge social media presence is twofold, right? One, if you were trying to make your own work, you need a following, period. Because if you don't have people interested in your work, nobody's going to come and see it when you make it. Whether it be a play, a short film, you need that. And the first thing a producer looks at, somebody who's going to give you money to make your own work, is do you have media following, social media following? If you write a book proposal to try and get a book agent, a literary agent, the first question, I'm sorry, like the fourth question after your outline of the book is do you have social media following? How are you going to market this? Right? That's a business question. Are you a good investment? And your social media following tells me you're a good investment. Plain and simple. It's like, oh, she has this. A lot of people are following her. A lot of people are willing to put in the time to pay attention to what she has to say and to what she's doing. Other people are putting in time and money. That makes it safe for somebody else to put in time and money to produce you. So that's the first thing. The second thing is so much of the work that we get now is not an audition, it's an offer. And I can attest to this. I, I get jobs on offer all the time. Or I go in for one thing and it's totally something else. Or I sent in audition tapes to them and I load my audition tapes to my website and people have seen them. And they've been like, oh my God, can you can you do this on tape? Or And I go, oh no, I have a reel. And they go, oh, okay, great. Your reel, your website, is your social media presence. It's your presence. <laughs> it's, the same. it's where people look for you. Okay? It's, it's your office as an actor. It's your showcase as an actor. You are giving somebody a place to come and see if they can hire you. Now, what do people need in order to hire you? They need your headshot and resume. They need a reel. For TV and film, it's a reel. If there's no tape, I don't know how you're going to work on TV. I don't know how you're going to look. I don't know how you're going to read. I can't give you a job. So your social media presence is about giving the industry a place to discover you. The first thing a casting director does when they are saying, okay, a breakdown comes out from a producer or from a network, and they say, listen, we want an actress who can play the doctor and she has good comedic skills and, you know, blah, 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 all these things that they want, okay? Then the casting director is going to go through their list of people they have that fit in that or that they think fit in that. And then the ones that don't have the right look, they're going to go by their emotional temperament. And so I think this person is great. And so the way that they get an audition for that person is that they then email the director clips of this person's work. That's it. If you don't have a social media presence, where are they going to get clips of your work? Nobody's going to stop to ask. Sorry, it doesn't work that way. And if it's a casting director you haven't worked for a lot, they don't have any tape of you. Or they don't have any good tape. Have you gone in and done great tape for them? What if it's a guest star? I recently booked a huge guest star on Bull. It's airing next week. I'm in the entire episode. I'm in like eight or nine scenes. <laughs> like I was working my ass off. That was an offer from my reel, which is on my social media. It's on YouTube. It's on IMDb. It's on Instagram. It's on my actor page in Facebook. You can type my name in and get to my reel 
in less than a minute. It gives somebody a place to find you. They ain't got to search for all these places. They ain't got to click 50 different uh, reels over here and over here. And I'm telling you because this director said this to me. He's like, wow, I, you know, I typed your name into Google. And usually I have to go looking for, I have to go to Vimeo, and then I have to go to IMDb, and then I have to go here to get a sense of an actor. Because one clip is not going to do it. Two clips are not going to do it. I need to get a sense of the, their scope and their depth and what they can do. So I need to see a lot of short footage on camera. He's like, I didn't have to do that for you. It's like I went one place and it was there. And your name popped up. And then every place that I went, there were at least five or six clips in your reel. I didn't have to go searching. It was a decision that could be made in 10 minutes. And I was like, that's ideally what you want because the offer came to me exactly 17 hours before I was supposed to be on set because that's how TV works because this was going to be a small part. And then the writer went, no, it's going to be bigger. She's going to be his old friend. She's going to be in a bunch of scenes. So they had to be like, oh, my God, we have to get an actor who could do this, like now. Like, we can't get the movie star because it's last minute changing. Oh, we need to get somebody who can do this right away. And those producers and that director had to make a decision in a day. <laughs> if somebody got to make a decision in a day, they don't have time to go looking for footage of you. They ain't got time to be going to your Instagram page looking for shit in your Instagram page. The link at the top of your profile, your Instagram page, should lead somebody to your reel. If that's what you're using as your primary thing. But again, a website. A website. So do you need social media following? Yes. If you are up for something big, a Game of Thrones, a Marvel show. I'm going to tell you right now that those shows depend on following and money. If you don't have a following, somebody with a following is going to beat you out. I posted an article not too long ago about Sophie Turner, you know, who plays Sansa on Game of Thrones. She wrote and she, she came out in an article and she said, yeah, there were a lot of actresses who were up for this role that were had more credits than me, were a lot more experienced and more talented. I got the part because I have over 20,000 followers. Instagram, Twitter, period, in a conversation. And she's right. That's why she got it. <laughs> you know, that's a huge role, right? You're a Game of Thrones. You're set for life. You're going to be collecting residuals till, you know, you have 17 great, 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 great grandchildren. Social media following. So that following matters, one, when you're making your own work and you're trying to get people to support you, maybe donate money to you making your own work, or two, when you are up for something truly big, if you have no social media following, somebody who does is going to get knocked out. And you don't want to lose to a Kardashian because they have more followers. And that's real. It could happen. So is it important? Absolutely. You want to work in TV and film? You better believe it. It's really important. And nothing replaces a website. Remember the things that you have to have in order for somebody to give you a job? In one place. No place they got to click. No place they can't see on their iPhone or their iPad because you got flash, you got what? One page, clean, no curls, no black backgrounds. Nobody can read anything with a black background, especially on the phone. It's hard to read. I want your headshot. I want your resume. I want how to contact you. And I want your reel. That's it. I don't want 15 different clips that I got to sort through. I want one four-minute reel. Quick and dirty the end that shows me your four major emotional cords. I hope I answered that question. Come back, give me more questions if you don't, if you, if you want more clarification. But if you want me to answer different questions, please fill out the survey, which is posted on this page. I will post a link here as well when this is published. Please fill out the survey. I will be back in a week or a few days, maybe this weekend, and I will answer more questions. And if you have additional questions, you can also answer, ask them in the comments below. Or you can sign up for the mailing list, thedreamunlocked.com. Love you. Mean it. Bye-bye.